Believe it or not, we should try and do a show. Rash Talk Radio. Coming at you live on MP3 from high on a hill above beautiful Lake Washington. My name is Lestro, and with me, as always, is the guru. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And you know how this goes. We're here to talk a little trash on the week's worth of sports. I don't know anybody except the guru, and the guru knows all. Man, I know just a little something, something, man. Just a little something, man. Guru, it is episode number 89, and we've got our huge show this week. The NFL preseason is in full swing, and the rookie quarterbacks are making a name for themselves. Daniel Jones stands out in New York, Dwayne Haskins makes noise in D.C., and Kyler Murray looks like the franchise in AZ. And in keeping up with the Ray Dashians, the focus has shifted from Antonio Brown's feet to his head, as in where's it at? Then, the NBA schedule is out. We'll be seeing a lot of the Lakers, the Warriors, and Zion Williamson? What games are we looking forward to watching this uh, this upcoming season? Plus, we've got two guests this week, Guru. Pat the designer from Windy City the Breeze calls in to preview the NFC North, and then the Almanac is back to, with his campus check-in to talk about Rich Paul's power and the first half of his top 10 college football players to watch. Plus, you know we got a two-minute drill. Trash Dog Radio, episode number 89. Let's roll. Guru, big show this week, man. Absolutely packed. Man, it is loaded, man. Loaded. We providing that content. It's that time of the year, man. Provide that content. Good to see you, as always, my friend. How you doing? Man, I am living the dream. Don't you pinch me, man. Don't you pinch me. Guru, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm all excited. This weekend, I, too, get to live the dream. The wife and I are, are going out on our first date uh, uh, in the evening together uh, since the baby was born this weekend. And uh, I'm really, it's, uh, I, I get to be, we get to be grown-ups for the night. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, a little Lester, got a babysitter. Can't wait this weekend. Getting out to play a little, to uh, watch a little rock and roll with the hold steady. Ooh, yo, just mark this that day down this weekend because nine months and a day from now <laughs> we might get a brother or sister. A yeah, you know what? The wife might actually be uh, be, be thinking that herself. Uh, that's a, that's a, I'm glad you warned me. I think it's. A, it's don't worry on that. No, the problem now is the. I think it, at, 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 this is our first time out in a while. The problem is we don't need a babysitter for for Saturday night. We're gonna need one for Sunday morning. Ooh, like we yeah, need somebody to come by yeah. the house and wake up with the yeah. kids so we can like get the hangover. At least give <laughs> at least let us sleep till eight. You know something. Just not not six o'clock. Oh, yeah, man, we'll see. Fun. We'll see next week how it went. <laughs> Uh, but but Guru, like I said, we got a huge show this week. Uh, so much uh, to talk about uh, as as the NFL camps have started. We've got uh, another episode of the Ray Dashians. Uh, we've got uh, the NBA schedules, uh, the NFC North preview. We got our campus check in. I of course want to start because I know you're excited about the preseason in full swing. <laughs> we had our first full run of games. Uh, it is it is going on from here and. You know, some rookie quarterbacks are really starting to make a name for themselves uh, already after the first week, getting some notice. It's always about the quarterback. It's man. always about the it's quarterback. It's always about the sexy girl. It's always about the homecoming princess, man. We don't want to worry about the nerdy girls, man. So with that said, we're going with the contenders, sort of homecoming princess. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but let's obviously with every eyes is on. The young guys, the first round pick, when it, it, with the draft, what comes anticipation and a fan base. So you get all that excitement to build up. So the first thing you, the first time you actually see them going against another opponent, another team, even though we know it's just a, a preseason, it don't mean nothing. But we're just looking more for the comfort level to see if they could just handle the moment, not necessarily the stats, the play, just to see if they are calm, how their demeanor is. That's what I pay attention to as far as when I make a, a quick assessment 
not a long-term assessment. This is just a quick assessment because it's such a small sample size. Does that kind of make sense a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, these guys we've seen uh, no more than like 15 minutes at the most, you know. To, to, to get it. So that's way too much. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's let's uh, let's keep it a pinch of salt on them. But Absolutely. but we saw some. Let's say let's start with the Giants here uh, on, on the East Coast. Jones, obviously, because we all know the whole build up with the draft as far as Daniel Jones. And I was, I was a fan of Daniel Jones. I like Daniel Jones. I think Daniel Jones fit the Giants. You know, I said that on the on the, on the, on the draft when we said that with, I believe, I forgot who was it, Almanac? Whoever I think it was. Almanac joined it was us for Almanac. that. Yeah. So Daniel Jones is another Eli. Just like I like Josh Rosen last year to fit um, the Giants. They're looking for another Eli, and Daniel Jones fits that profile to the T. He even looked like Eli. So, yes, his first preseason game, there, there was a great scripted plays. He looked absolutely good. He looks good in the, uh, under the light. You know, he was calm. He looks like he fits, and he, 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 he could – he fits in. He looks natural. So, I um, mean, he, he looked good. Five for five. Obviously, that's impressive. A touchdown, 67 yards. So, I'm not worried about the stats, like I said. But, obviously, you could tell the hard work he's been doing, the end result is what this was. Most of the throws were outside throws, and it was timing throws. So, But I love the anticipation of it and the touch. So, it shows you flashes. That's all this is. It's a long way to go, but it shows you flashes because the Giants fan base was like, whoa, what are we doing? Blage, blage. But now, this gives you hope. That's all this gives you is hope. Yeah, this is definitely hope uh, after Eli. Although, again, uh, five for five in a preseason game, it's really more about the fact that he did not shit the bed. He went out there and, and played and, and hung in. Uh, same thing uh, further south there uh, in D.C. Uh, your, your boys down in D.C., down in the district, uh, their young quarterback also not playing too poorly. Yeah, Haskins had a moment, obviously, uh, stats-wise. He has the least desirable stats amongst the, the, the top three. Uh, amongst those three, I'm sorry, amongst those three. So he was, overall, he played longer. Uh, that's another thing. He played longer than those guys played. So he was 8 for 14 for 117 yards, and he threw two picks. Yo, so there was there was times where he did show he, his lack of experience per se. But again, it is DC, so this is a uh, this is a step up. This <laughs> oh, is this oh, is still an improvement uh, uh, for your fellas. I gotta take jokes, enjoy it, man, because I was laughing at the Eagles for the forty years. And then uh, <laughs> going going west, the other one we got to talk about is uh, is is Kyler Murray, of course, uh, out in Arizona, who uh, really looks like the real deal out there. Yeah, he looked like the franchise man. He, look, he really looked like the franchise. Everything just fits him. Uh, the ball was coming out of his hands very quick. You know, it just looked good. He looks poised. He looks natural. Like I said, it don't look like you're trying to put a round peg in a square hole. You know, it looked like it's proportionally fit. Uh, despite his size and all his measurements, this offense is catered to him. If he's going to succeed in the NFL, it's going to be under this type of system. So this is all catered towards him. And he was in very, he, was, he looks good, like I said. Like all those other guys, the plays were scripted. So he was, um, his stats was, it was his, um, 67 yards, um, passing yards. And he was, what, five out of seven. So not, not essentially crazy, not numbers, but little, one series. But he shows you the flash. He showed you he could get the ball out quick. And all the balls were thrown. Does he do so? It was very safe throws. Yeah, and of the guys we talked about, he's probably going to be the one we see the the most of going forward, and will actually probably get the start uh, out there in they Arizona. Make sure of that. Yeah, he's not no probably. We're, we're seeing the beginning the of him. It's not just it's not just uh, flashes of where these guys might go uh, uh, there. So, all right, so that's our, our initial look at the training camp. But no look at uh, uh, the NFL preseason training camp this week would be complete without a check in on uh, our favorite reality show, uh, keeping up with the Ray Dashians. Uh, this uh.